Hey guys, thanks for joining me for our first science experiment this year, weighing in on mass. Butter makes everything taste more delicious. Could there be a way to get more out of a stick of butter? Does melting it create more mass? Well, today we're gonna explore, okay? So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna wanna come up with a scientific question for this experiment. And our question for this experiment is going to be, if I melt butter, will it gain more mass? Which as you know from class, it will make it weigh a little bit more. Okay, the next step is going to be to come up with our hypothesis. What do you think is going to happen if the mass of the stick of the butter increases, no mass was created when it melted. If the mass of the stick of the butter decreases, then no mass was created when it melted. That's the part I'm going to have you guys fill out on your own. All right, and we're going to get started with our experiment. We have our materials. We have a stick of butter. We have a small pot of water. I have a mixing bowl. I have my scale, and finally, my oven mitts, okay? So let's take it over to the stove and get started. All right, step one is gonna to be to take the stick of butter out of its packaging, place the butter in the bowl, and weigh the bowl and the butter together. Take that out, put that in. All righty, next we're going to record the mass in our results section. All right, we can go ahead and record the mass of our butter as 108 grams. Step two is to fill the pot halfway with water and put it on the stove. Bring the water to a boil and then place the bowl on top of the pot. The bowl should sit comfortably over the top of the pot without dipping too far into the pot. Now, as you can see, there is my butter. It's on top of my boiling water. That's the steam coming out, and it's going to melt soon. Step three, leave the bowl on the pot until the butter has completely melted. Do not use anything to stir the butter. Let it melt on its own. And from the looks of it, we're almost done. Step four, using oven mitts, place the bowl back on the scale once the butter has completely melted, record the mass in the results section. Taking a look at our mass, it looks like it weighs 108 grams. Go ahead and record that now. Step five, place the bowl in the fridge and allow the butter to cool and become solid again. Once it's solidified, we're gonna take it out and weigh it again. After leaving the butter in the fridge to harden again and solidify, we're just going to weigh it again to see if the mass has changed. Uh, taking a look, it looks like our mass is 108 grams. All right, guys. Now that we've completed our experiment, I'm going to let you go ahead and put all your data into your data sheets. One thing I want to talk about quick, though, is the variables. There were three variables that they talked about on there. Uh, our test variable, our outcome variable, and our controls. When we think about our test variable, I want you to think about what was the thing that changed or that you, the scientist, changed throughout the experiment. When we think about the outcome variable, I want you to think about well, what was the thing that we measured? What was the thing that we wanted to see how it changed? And did it change? Because it might not have. And the last thing is our controls. And our controls are the things we kept the same the whole time. So think about, as we did of our, our experiment, what things did you not change from the beginning to the end? You kept it exactly the same. All right. So think about our results. What happened when we measured our butter? What happens when we melted it and then remeasured it? And then what happens when we put it in the fridge and made it cold and solidified again and measured it? What happened and what conclusions can you draw about the mass of the butter when it is heated and cooled and changes states? All right. I hope you enjoyed this experiment. I'll talk to you soon.